A tick bite could eliminate an entire food group from your diet. Good evening, I'm Kim Chapman. And I'm Josh Rowe. Imagine enjoying a steak dinner, then hours later you're in the hospital in anaphylactic shock. It could be because of one tiny culprit. News Channel 9's Kelsey Bagwell is here to explain. Kelsey. Well, Josh Kim, a few years ago, tick bites and red meat were unlikely to be heard in a sentence together. But now more and more people who suffer a tick bite learn they can no longer eat beef or pork. All across my back, I come out with really huge red welts. Like most men, Randy Lavender says he loves a good cheeseburger. But now, that's off the menu for Randy. All because of this little guy, a lone star tick. It's distinguishing mark, a yellow dot on its back. It, it doesn't bother me that bad. I, I mean, just, you know, not being a big steak eater to begin with, just, just the worst part's hamburgers. And then, of course, I can get a buy that. <laughs> Doctors say they're seeing more and more patients like Randy. They come into the office after developing an allergic reaction, and they don't know why. After some tests, allergists like Kurt Chaffin will diagnose you with alpha gal. He says while overall the condition is rare, if you're going to get it, you're going to get it here. We only see this really in the southeast, and again, this was discovered in Virginia, and that's about as far north as it goes, and it goes in, into Kentucky and, and, I, uh, and, and, of course, down into Tennessee and, and further south. And so, yes, our area is, is one of the hotbeds, if I can say that, for this uh, nationwide. Hotbed, again, still very, very rare, but we just, you just don't see it uh, in other parts of the country. And the allergic reaction doesn't hit you all at once. Chaffin says it can take hours for your body to go into anaphylactic shock. Some patients even develop an allergic reaction to dairy. Doctors are just now finding out why the reaction occurs. There's a particular, uh, a particular carbohydrate that you develop antibodies to. So after you get bitten by this tick, you then develop these antibodies, and it's the same antibody that can be found in these meats. And so that's where the connection is. Now, there's no cure for the allergy. According to allergists, the symptoms can be every bit as severe as someone who is allergic to peanuts.